we are going to be doing some weaving. So we're creating our own loom. Um, so if you have a cardboard, that's fantastic. I just cut up a box I had at home. So I just cut up, I just cut out this size. And then if you have a ruler, great. If you don't have a ruler, that's no big deal. I would go ahead and draw maybe pinky width, pinky width, little marks. So, because we're going to be cutting into this and let me show you what I'm doing. So this is what I did, pinky marks, pinky width, and I made marks like that, okay? So you're gonna do that on the top and then the bottom too. And make sure that you don't flip it. Okay, I don't want you to do this. I just want you to go pinky down and then you're gonna be making marks down here too, okay? So let's do that. So you will need, if you wanna make a homemade loom, you're gonna need some cardboards if, or another hard object that you can cut through. Anaya, it's good to see you, hon. Okay. You guys, I would love the, I would really, really appreciate it if you unmuted because I am creating with my hands and I do not want to have to worry about looking at the chat. So if you have a question, if you could unmute and ask, that would be so wonderful. Okay, so we have the cardboard. We've done pinky widths. Right, so I put marks so you can see that, and at the bottom, and now you're going to cut just a little cut. See, like that, I'm not going much more than that. See, like that. Okay, okay so what I'm going to show you guys now is um, how to uh, string your loom. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our string and I don't know how much, how long we want to do it. I have not detached it. So I've got this big bowl of string. So you're going to start by putting the string like this. And if you have tape, I highly recommend taping it down to secure it. If you don't have tape, you could probably just put a knot right here and it won't slip through. I'm just going to tape it, tape it like that. And I'm going to take it to the bottom one and put it through like that. Now, to save string, to make sure that we stay, save our string and don't use it all up, we're just going to go on this side and take it through the second cut. See what I did on the back side? This is the back side. This is the front side. So now I can take it up to the second one and do that. I have just put all the string on my loom. So I have made a loom. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna need materials to pass through the loom. And I'm gonna show you how to do that momentarily. You are going to get your yarn or fabric. It can be done with fabric pieces. You're gonna take your yarn. I highly recommend it tying it on something like a pencil. It'll help you weave easier. And you're gonna go under and then over the next string. So you go under. over the next one, then under, it's a pattern, over, under, over, till you get to the very last string on the, your string has to have an end, okay? Has to have an end, because what you're doing is you're taking this all the way through. Okay, right, so you guys, here's my end of my string and I have taken it to the very end. I have weaved over, under, over, under, over, under, or under, over, under, over, whichever way. Now at the very end, and this is where everyone who is not focusing gets it wrong. 
Do you see how I went under the last string? And now I'm gonna go over the last string and do the same thing I just did, obviously, except opposite, okay? So this was under, and now I'm gonna go over the last string and then under this one. 